Sunday, Boho is in another big trouble because the Nigerian army has issued a stern warning to him about so many things. Anyway, I'll bring you details about all of the things they said he has done and why they are sending him a warning because they said the next time it's not going to be a warning. Anyway, guys, more details I'll bring to you about all of that. But please, if you have not subscribed, please do so right away and also give our videos a thumbs up. Yes, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can get updated anytime we drop a new video. Okay, guys, don't forget this is Saffron Media and we are here to give you the best, the most trending, exciting, reliable, hot and sizzling report from Nigeria. All in politics and many more. We hope you stay tuned and enjoy all of this that I'll bring to you. All right, guys, without wasting more time, let us get right into the details that it says the Nigerian army issues stern warning to Sunday Igbo Ho and others. Yes, the Nigerian defense headquarters has issued a strong warning to Sunday Igbo Ho and other individuals bent on disparaging its reputation to gain political mileage. The defense headquarters gave the warning in a statement released on Saturday night while reacting to the report titled Sunday Igbo who apprehends alleged soldiers, accuses federal government spying on him. The defense headquarters noted that the spy alarm raised by Igbo who was false, adding that it will never stoop so low to such extent to spy on the self-acclaimed Yoruba activist. The military, however, warned that such false alarm from Igboho and others will not be condoned in the future. The statement signed by the attention of the defense headquarters has been drawn to a trending video clip on social media and some other media reports with the above headline, uh, yes, alleging that some Nigerian military personnel were on a spying mission to the residence of one Sunday at DMO, popularly known as Sunday Boho, before they were apprehended. In the viral video, which was released on Friday, 19 March 2021, the alleged soldiers were seen being accused of having been sent by the government to do a survey on Sunday Boho, Shoka residence in Ibadan, the Oyo state capital. The self acclaimed Yoruba activist also alleged that the action of the so-called soldiers were orchestrated by the federal government as a result of comments he made alleging that Yorubas are no longer a part of Nigeria. While the defense headquarters has no interest in dragging or joining issues with Sunday Adeyemo or his associates, it is pertinent to clear the air and address these allegations squarely. For the records, it should be noted that the armed forces of Nigeria are highly professional in the discharge of their duties with well-defined roles, responsibilities, and duties in its mandate of securing the territorial integrity of the Nigerian nation. As such, the military cannot stoop so low to such extent to spy on one individual as wildly and loosely alleged. Secondly, the armed forces of Nigeria is a highly disciplined and professional organization with extant laws and regulations which guide the actions of its personnel in the conduct of their duties. As such, it is practically impossible for military personnel on official duty to conduct themselves in such a manner as alleged by Adeyemo and his cohorts. For the avoidance of doubt, Pre preliminary investigation has so far revealed that one of the alleged soldiers is a, Syri is a Syria impersonator. Meanwhile, credible eyewitnesses and sources have also revealed that some associates of Igboho went in pursuit of some individuals when the motorbike conveying the impersonator and one Nigerian Air Force personnel ran into them. The duo were immediately apprehended apprehended and taken to the said Igboho house at Shoka before Ibadan toll gates where they were branded as, as spies. Furthermore, investigations are currently underway by Nigerian Air Force and the Nigerian Army to unravel the actual circumstances which played out that very day. The defense headquarters hereby wants individuals and groups to desist 
from disparaging the enviable reputation of the Nigerian army by dragging it into petty issues to gain political mileage, which action will not be condoned in the future. Acting director and uh, all of them wrote, this is what they sent to uh, Sunday Igbohu, saying that uh, the people he claimed to have uh, caught in his residence, that those people are just imposters, they are, they are not from them. Well, you know, the lies have become too much in the country that Nigerians don't even know who and what to believe anymore. Because remember that day, I also said it, I said at the end of the day, the government will only come out to tell you that the soldiers that were caught were not even a part of them. And at the end of the day, you just lose your life for nothing. There's nobody that wants to stand for you. So you should be wise and understand that majorly you are on your own. So nobody is ready to die for you. Nobody is ready to stand for you. You should stand for yourself, stand up for yourself, and know that it is your responsibility to take care of your health, take care of yourself. Otherwise, if anything goes wrong and anything happens to you, you definitely are going to bear the consequences of whatever happens to you because it is your responsibility to stay happy. It is your responsibility to stay calm and all of that. But if you feel you want to work hard, so really, it is everyone's responsibility to take care of themselves and ensure that nothing goes wrong with them or with any member of their families. But as well, you cannot blame Sunday Igbo. Imagine some people just walking all over his, promise, his premises, uh, thinking, you know, going forth and back. It is it is enough uh, reason for him to call these guys and ask them, what are you guys looking for? Why are you walking about my vicinity? And, you know, I, knew, I always knew that the Nigerian army would deny these guys. But, you know, one way or the other, they've said that it is not from them. And whatever they say, we'll just have to believe because they are the security outfit that we know in the country. And they could just come up with anything saying that uh, everything that Sunday Buhu said is a lie, that uh, he got the wrong people, that those people are not even in the Nigerian army and all of that. And they also gave one very, they also said something that uh, it was not even around his residence. And they went around somewhere to pick up those guys saying that uh, they were spies and all of that but really we're going to we don't know what the truth really is if the uh nigeria i mean saying the truth or sunday Buhu is saying the truth because he said he saw these people around his house and that was why he they were arrested and were also beaten anyway my people that is it from here thank you for listening whatever you have to say about this please drop it in the comment section and also give this video a thumbs up do have a pleasant time bye for now